Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we got something a little bit different. We have furniture from Wish. Yes, I purchased some furniture from Wish. We needed some new furniture. Um, I thought the deals were pretty good. We have a patio set, two end tables, and a coffee table. And we may even do one more item that's upstairs. Not quite sure yet. I got on my, we can do it, because we're going to put this together. I'm thinking we're going to do something like... We? You got a ravage? You got a mouse in your pocket? Me. Me and you. All right. My dad's here to help me out. Um, so I think we're gonna do like one by one, kind of show you how, what, what I paid for it, then kind of like show you what it looks like out of the box, and then put it together. All right. Works for me. Here we go. Let's go. All right, for our first item, we have the patio set. I paid $192. That's the cost and the shipping combined. I don't think that that's bad. No, patio. I mean, we, it'll depend I'll on- I'll put a picture up right here so you guys can see it. Um, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> and all this stuff did come from the, from the USA. So it's not, um, it did come pretty quickly. I've had a lot of these for a long time. So if by chance any of them do not work, I will not be able to get a refund. <laughs> I'll also put all the links to all the items if you can get them um, and the first pin comment. So we're gonna open this up and then show you guys kind of all the pieces and then we'll put it together. All right guys, so here are all the pieces. It has two chairs and a table. These are the cushions that go on top of it. And there's a piece of glass in the middle here that goes on top of the table. Um, and I'll also show you like my outside set now, which the chairs outside I have now are actually my parents. I, I had a set like this and the chair like cracked. And so they gave me two of their chairs to borrow. Well, I think That's that was like, long. I think that was like eight years ago and I like never <laughs> got a new set. So now today he actually gets to take his two chairs home. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a complete set again. And I gotta say that it looks like the assembly is going to be mostly done through an Allen wrench. So yeah. it doesn't look like there's going to be they an intense are, almost, amount of work. Things. So I think it's a I think on a scale of one yeah. to five, it's probably a, a one and a half to assemble. As long yeah. as you can read the directions. So either if, if we get through this really, really quickly, we'll just show you the after. Um, but if it takes us a while, then we make sure you're like 15 minutes in or 30 minutes in. So time to get to putting together. Yes. Okay. All right, guys, we are about 30 minutes in. My dad has put together the first chair and I put together the table. And the table has these little like suction cups on it to keep the glass on because I was wondering how it was going to stay on. But so we got the table and the one chair done, he's gonna finish up the other one. Then I think I'm gonna show you what the back porch looks like now. And then we'll put these out there and show you the after. Okay guys, so here is the patio set now. My dad will be taking home these two chairs and then the thing in the middle, I'm probably going to just maybe try to sell for like $5. So the next thing you will see is it all set up and put out here and we'll be able to see the difference. It's a very small back porch, so can't put a lot out here, but Next, we'll see the final result. All right, guys, so here we have it. It looks pretty good. I like it. What do you think, Dad? I think that I think it looks really nice. You just got to keep in mind that as you put the screws in, it gets harder and harder to align them. So just be don't tighten up any of the screws. Just put them in halfway and then tighten them all up at the end and you got it made. I feel like the back porch looks like... sturdy, too. Yeah, it looks like a totally brand new back porch now. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right, on to the next item. All right guys, so I'm really happy with the patio set. And now next we have two end tables. This is actually my coffee table right now. We're gonna be doing the coffee table next where we're getting rid of that whole entire set. So this, these were $69.45 each, which I really don't think is bad for yeah. an end table. Yeah. I, I was looking up even stuff on like Walmart, things like that. And anything that's made out of like wood was close to like $100. So we're gonna get this all out and show you guys what it looks like and then put it together. Let's do it. So I just took out the stuff, or we just took out the stuff on one of the boxes, and we'll do the other one in a minute. I will say that everything was wrapped up in this kind of like foam type stuff, really, really, really like safe, safely. And the other thing is that I looked at all of the painted surfaces, and there are no sections where the painted surface is messed up. That's really important. That is good. So that, that, that's really good. And again, once again, we've got a majority of them are from an Allen. Use an Allen wrench. You see, they may be a little bit easier. It'll be a lot less screws, probably too, and like I think it'll be easier. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put these together. Uh, he'll put the other one. I'll put together the other, and then we'll show you, I guess, when we're uh, completed. Absolutely. All right, so we are like midway putting this together. I didn't make a mistake. There were two different size screws, screws, and they were really, really close in size. So I accidentally used two of the long ones on the top part, and if you can tell. It went through. 
Uh, my dad actually did that on one of his too. You know what? You live, you learn. It's not that big of a deal. We can figure it out. I did replace it with the right screws. So I literally had to take apart almost all of it in order to uh, put it back together. So that's why he's a lot further along than I am. So I'm gonna get back to it and then uh, show you at the end. All right guys, so we are all done. Here it is, I'm gonna show you kind of like up close. I'm gonna show you guys um, everything all set up once it's done. But my, my mishap was kind of a little sucky. But we figure we can put maybe a little paint on top of it or something, but it has a cute little drawer that comes out. I am happy with it. I really wish I had uh, done the screw wrong, but you know. It's yeah, but I, 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 it's definitely easily touched up. Very easily touched up, but it's a good okay. quality. It's nice and heavy. Yeah, I think it's good. All right, now let's show you the last item. All right, now for the coffee table. This is the one that I saw so many times on the limited quantity deals. And I wanted to claim it, and I tried to claim it so many times. I think Beckett even claimed it, and I just I I wanted it so bad. I was like, you know what? I'm buying it. I'm buying it. We're gonna have it. Um, I'll put the picture somewhere. I paid a hundred and seventy dollars for this. I'm thinking this gonna be a, a rough put together, but I'm not sure. I think we decided to. We're also even gonna do the jewelry thing upstairs. Let's just make it a full furniture day, a whole renovation. <laughs> and we're gonna make sure. That if there's smaller screws and larger screws, we pay really close attention because the smallest screw was only one eighth of an inch, close to a little bit more than an eighth of an inch than the other screw. And it literally said on the top, it said short and long, and I yeah. didn't even look at it because I thought they were all the same. All right, so we're going to put this together, and then I'm going to show you all the setup all completely done. Okay, so while my dad is downstairs putting the coffee table together, we had no clue how long this thing was going to take us. This has actually been hours on end we've been putting together furniture. So while he's doing that, I'm going to show you guys this one. I paid $103 for this. Now this is also an item, I'll put a picture up, that I've wanted off the limited quantity deals. I know you, some, some of you guys got it. So jealous. Because now I kind of want to reorganize my whole way I'm doing my jewelry. So I'm going to get it out of here. I think it's actually put together and all you have to do is mount it or hang it. So let me get it out of here and then I will show you guys. Okay, currently it's upside down. It came packaged exceptionally well, exceptionally well. Um, everything you need is there, all the hardware, if you're gonna hang it above the door, there. And then back here, this slides out, I pulled out halfway to make it easier for me. And that's where you put the batteries in, that'll do the lights for when you open. But you can't do that until it's all closed because it's activated by this right here, by the thing opening and closing. So I guess I'm gonna try to put the door on and then I guess wait for my dad to help me to figure out if we're going to mount it or hang it above a wall. A door. I don't know. Alright, so here we go. We have the coffee table. Two end tables. Now, I did think this is going to be lighter. You see how it kind of doesn't go with my flooring that much? I mean, it is what it is. We'll have to work with it. But I did think it went a lighter color than this. Um, okay, Dad, now open it. Now I'm going to show you. I like you. this part. This is the neat part. So it comes right out. And it's got a whole storage area underneath. Look on the other side. Yep, and then there's a whole storage. You can put stuff in here. Let me tell you, I really wanted this from limited quantity deals. So even though it's kind of expensive, I'm glad I own it now. All right, now let's do that jewelry box. All right, guys, so we'll get back to the rest of the stuff in a minute. It's actually two days later, and I'm putting this clip in. But the last item, which I didn't think was going to come in time, actually came. I paid $59.49. And it's like a storage chest bench, but the goal is going to go right here. We used to have um, a love seat with our sofa. Like that sofa is brand new. And we decided we didn't want to have another love seat. So this is going to be the thing we're going to use. So I figure I can just take this out. It should be pretty simple. It says collapsible. My goal is to put blankets and stuff in it. Sorry, I just got off of work if I look like whatever. And then hopefully it'll hold people to sit on it. If not, maybe my dad can build something inside of it to make it go. All right, I'm gonna get it out, we'll put it together. This legitimately has turned into the most expensive haul ever. That wish cash is like almost gone. So here's the brand name, and here's all the things that they make. Just by looking at it, it looks pretty hardcore and pretty good quality. And the whole outside is leather too. So I'm guessing all you do is do like this, put the thing in the bottom. That's a tight fit. And then has this part. I'm not sure where that goes. 
I'm not sure where this goes. It's got Velcro on it. Let's just put the top on <laughs> and see if it's going to be sturdy or not. Maybe this is to make like a middle thing where you can have it like separated. The goal is to put all the blankets in here. I guess we're gonna like test it out. <laughs> this is kind of where it would go. Just for like extra added seating if somebody does come over, but not like an eyesore of a big huge, um, a big huge sofa. It's sturdy. Yes, 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 yes. I'll have to ask Rob where this goes. I'm thinking of it, it's made to put in the middle where you can velcro it on each side so you can have like a separation inside of it. This is a pretty good haul, guys. Hopefully I get a lot of views for this one because this is an expensive one. But it has totally changed my outside, my living room, my upstairs. So I guess it's time to continue on and get back to the video. So here it is, all hung. This was way harder than we thought it was gonna be to hang this. I thought it was gonna be the easy one out of this thing. Not so much. So we opened it up. I got the lights all ready to go. I'll show you guys everything what I'm gonna do with this in the closet clean out video. There's also a lock and it comes with a key. So I'm super, super excited. I'm just gonna lock it now so it won't open. All right guys, so it's the next day. And since it was so crazy that day, I figured I'd give a little more in-depth on the jewelry case because it is pretty sweet. There's actually two choices you can get. I picked this one because it had the drawers. So you can put a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Then you got this area where it's kind of like shelves where they had like beauty items in there and stuff. And then up here you can do necklaces. That's all there for rings. This could be, I think they said this for earrings. All for earrings. And then... You can do necklaces and bracelets all over here. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. And I was going to wait for the closet clean out to fill it up. But now I'm kind of anxious to do it. So let me show you what I'm working with now for my jewelry stuff. And then we'll fill it up and I'll show you guys the final look. Sorry if it's so dark in here. Um, so I ended up putting a long time ago these ones in the closet. And then I got this thing to hold kind of all the smaller stuff. But every time I move my clothing, it's like it all hits and like hits against that and it's getting kind of annoying. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to take it all out and try to put it all in the jewelry box. And then I will show you guys the final result. Okay guys, now it is all set up. And I really have like pretty good room to grow. I'm not really sure what goes right there. Or maybe nothing because there's shelves there. And I even have like two of the drawers completely empty. I put some of the longer necklaces on here. Sorry, the room is messy. The closet clean out is coming soon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy. I'm actually doing a earring haul at some point too, so I'll be able to fill up a lot of that. Okay, so now let's really finish this video. So, super big thanks to my dad for helping me out. That was a lot of work. And I'm not going to lie, he did about 80% of the work. I mean, I helped. I did a lot of cleaning up. I had trips to the dumpster I did. Oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I put I, some uh, stuff together. But... I, I got to say, though, if you intend on doing something like this, plan on the afternoon. I mean, don't make any plans an hour from when you start. Because I got to say one thing. Sometimes the directions are kind of misleading. So you really want to pay attention to the components that go in there as you're doing the directions. Or else what they show is sometimes the opposite of how you put it on. So... Yeah, and, Word to and the don't, don't think that there will be other furniture wish videos because I pretty much think I'm good to go <laughs> on everything I possibly could ever need to replace around here right now. Though I did see a kitchen, uh, Stop it. a dining room table. No, no, yeah, but it was like four. Dining room table is beautiful. Yeah, we we yeah. finished that whole table. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so, this actually, we planned on filming like three, if not four videos today when they were over. This I, took all day. I, all day. With, with a little piece of break, but all day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because it was, yeah, there was some blood, sweat, and tears put in this video. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a little cut yeah, over there. I have like a splinter or something in my thumb. I have a little cut over there yeah, on my it finger. Yeah, hurts. I'm going to feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So if you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, which I'm sure you do, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also know that my dad um, can't comment back on everybody's videos, but he'll do one comment um, in the video and I'll pin it to the top. Actually, no, I'll pin the... Uh, you'll find my dad's, dad's comment and then he can comment back to you on that one. So just comment on his one. Oh, and if you haven't yet subscribed, could today be the day? Yeah, we're at 22,000. We're on the road to 30 now. On the road, I'm not you, growing any beard or anything, you, so forget it. I'm done. This is you, this is it. You can't make a hashtag for me. That's my job. I'm sorry. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.